I am so glad I am doing the sex education class with the Year 11s today. Are you? Good grief. Just uh, some of the things that I've managed to pick up on the high street on the way to work this morning. Yeah, well, if you go looking for it. I can't believe that our kids are surrounded by this stuff 24-7. Welcome back to old Blighty. It's moved on a bit. Well, I think we need to move on with it. If we can't stop them from being surrounded by this nonsense, then the least we can do is put it into context. Whew. I think it's a good idea leaving Kim in charge of sex ed. I mean, it's a sensitive enough subject for parents and governors as it is without getting the sledgehammer involved. Well, why don't we just wait and see how she handles things this morning before we jump to any conclusions? <laughs> oh, here he is, the birthday boy. Happy birthday, Phil. Cheers, eh? Oh, it's a big day for him, isn't it, eh? A big one six. Yeah, I just wish your mum could be around to appreciate it. Well, she hasn't been in touch with him either. Nope, not a call, not a card, not even a text. <sighs> You know that he's asked to have a party at mine tonight. Well, he to needs something to cheer him up, doesn't he? And, you know, if things get out of hand, you can always um, step in and help out. <laughs> oh, I can, can I? Oh, please, it's the only chance I'm going to get an adult conversation all night. I haven't been to a house party in years. I might have to go and dust off my old glow sticks and everything. <laughs> right, what I want to try and do this morning is burst some of the myths that you've been getting about sex and sexual behaviour. Favourite positions? Yeah, I've done that, done that. I've done them all, man. <laughs> I think Bolton's got a few myths of his own, miss, thinking he's some kind of expert. No more than you. Slag! <laughs> <laughs> now, why would Michaela be a slag when you would be a stud for sleeping around? Exactly. Uh, I've not been sleeping around. Uh, all right, let's just stop with all the sexual insults, OK? If you're not giving each other a hard time for having too much sex, it's for having too little. Oh, none at all. <laughs> <laughs> Bolton, have you ever heard the expression, all mouth and no trousers? <laughs> all right, here's one for you. When it comes to the battle of the sexes, who do you think's got it easiest, boys or girls? Boys. Girls. Definitely. Girls. Boys? Girls. No way. We've got to make sure you've got protection so we don't end up getting pregnant. Exactly. Yeah, we've got to make sure we're protected so we don't get nothing. Look, as long as everybody is protected against sexually transmitted infections, that is the main thing. Yeah, but miss, what about, you know, us girls being expected to hold on to our virginity while that lot can just lose it as soon as? Girls get to do the picking, yeah? <laughs> we've got to do all the hard work persuading you to sleep with us in the first place. Yeah, well, it's not our fault you think with that rather than this, is it? <laughs> the point is, if we weren't all so competitive, we wouldn't be rushing to do anything without thinking it through for ourselves instead of, well, instead of letting others do it for us. It's only you that knows when you are ready. All right, so, so if that means waiting or, or staying a virgin for longer than you planned, then so be it. <laughs> An independent and responsible attitude towards sexual activity, well, that can help stop the spread of STIs. Maybe just stop Michaela from sleeping around. Bolton, please. No, it's OK, miss, cos I know I haven't got anything. In spite of what some people might be saying, I haven't slept around at all. I'm a virgin, if you must know. And it's my choice and it's my business and I'm happy with it. Has anybody got a problem with that? No, I don't think anyone does. Thank you, Michaela. Well done. <laughs> anyone else want to express their individuality? Yeah, all right. I'm a virgin too. Get over it. <laughs> That didn't go quite to plan. It, it's absolutely my fault. You're gonna fix it for me then? Well, of course I can't. Exactly. It's my problem. Philip, you're 16. Like, this is not a competition. Yeah, it is. And then, once you do do it, it all becomes about who can do it the most and who's the best. No, don't get caught up in all that. That's what I've just been trying to tell you. Well, tell them. All right, then I will. I will. I'll get hold of lots of information that'll 
Make them think twice about the promiscuous behaviour. So that's going to solve my problem, is it? No, it's not. Look, the truth is, this is one something you are going to have to figure out yourself, but what I will say is things happen when they happen. Right? And when they do, you want to make sure that it is with the right person, under the right circumstances. Someone you care about and someone who cares about you. You only get to give this thing away once. So when you do, just make sure it means something. Thanks, miss. Oh, but Bolton's right, though. I mean, I I've never even had the choice. You know, I'm never gonna. No, not with that self-pitying attitude, you're not. <sighs> Philip. I, I did try and talk to him, but it... Well, how's that gonna help? He's probably gonna get more grief because you brought it out in the open. Well, someone clearly needed to. <sighs> I know that you're not his mum, but someone does need to talk to him about sex. Right. Well, thanks, Kim. Right. Thank you. <sighs> Great. She makes a mess of things and needs you to pick up the pieces. Just what you need. OK, this is where I need to hold my hands up because I need your help. Hmm? Oh, please, Eddie, look, I just feel that this is... It's like it's too close to home for me, and I know he's going to listen to you. Rachel, some things are best left to sort themselves out. I don't think this is any of our business. That's well, exactly what it is. Uh, just listen for a second. It's his 16th birthday. His mother's just upped and left him. He lives with the head teacher of his school, and that's difficult enough for any lad to deal with, let alone Philip. And now you want me to talk to him about how he might not have had sex yet. You might as well write Happy Virgin on his birthday cake, and I've done with it. If X is 500, what is Y? Phil. Philip. Don't know. <laughs> well, it's not that hard. Everyone else seems to have done it already. Story of your life, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, quiet word outside, mate. Just get on with your work, please. <laughs> So, you want to tell me what's up? Nothing. Well, something is. Tom will tell you as well as the whole school. Look, Miss Campbell's a bit in your face. Just try and forget about it. May as well forget about my party as well. Nothing to celebrate now. No one's going to want to come to some loser. Virgin's party anyway, so I'm calling the whole thing up. Thanks to your half-arsed birds and the bees session, Philip's ready to stick his head in the oven. It wasn't half-arsed. Yeah? Then why is he cancelling his party all of a sudden? He hasn't. Yeah. The only thing you've managed to do is ruin a young lad's birthday. I'll... I'll go and have another word with him. <clears throat> no. Don't you think you've done enough damage to his ego for one day? Well, I haven't done that. It's the pressure that if he hasn't lost his virginity by age 14, then he's a late starter. That's what lads are like. Well, if that is the case, then we should make sure that they're doing it safely. Without doing any more damage. Well, I'd just propose we do that. Increased awareness and responsibility for your own sexual health. You are kidding, aren't you? Why not? 16 to 24-year-olds have got the highest rate of infection. Well, don't blame me when you've got a queue of angry parents knocking on your door. For what? Protecting the sexual health of the kids? No, for shoving sex and sexual activity down their throats, like these magazines you've been raiding against all morning. Well, at least I'm not ignoring the problem like you and Rachel. If I can get just one kid to treat an STI or wait until they're ready before they have sex, then I'm doing my job right, aren't I? Anybody sitting here? Oh. 
What's this I hear about you cancelling your party? It's not like anyone else was going to come. No chance now, really, is it? Have you even asked anyone? No point. Just a, a joke to everyone. Ah, comedy Phil and his weird little life. Oh, Phil. Uh, honestly, you are going to look back on this time in your life and you're going to laugh. Yeah, and so will everyone else. This is just a phase. If I could get your future self to walk through those doors and, and, and tell you, do you know what, you wouldn't even recognise him. Well, he'd be the one with a beard and a bulletproof suit. Having a party at the head teacher's house is something that you and them will only get to do once in a lifetime. I think you might be surprised just how much they'd like to get involved if only you give them a chance. All right, if you won't ask them, then I will. Oh, no. OK. Well, while you're at it, why don't you give them them? Show them the risk of sleeping around and uh, not being too careful. OK.